Hello. In this video, we will show you how to use the Kitchen Editor 3D app. In the first scene, you can choose the units of measurement, the language of the prompts, and the specifications. These are the main buttons for choosing the type of kitchen we will design. Let's create a simple corner type kitchen design. The scene with the desired kitchen type has been loaded. The app has two control panels. This is a button to switch between panels. The first panel is the project management buttons. The second panel is the editor buttons. Let's look at the project management panel. There is a button to return to the previous scene, a button to create a new project, a screenshot button, an open project button, and a save a copy of project button. You can save and open projects. Let's click on the open project button. If you have already saved projects, a list of saved projects will appear on the right. Click on the project you want to open. A warning will appear that the current project that is currently open will be deleted. Click the Cancel button if you want to save the open project. Or click the OK button to open the project without saving the open project. The project will load onto the stage. You can also delete an unnecessary project in the list. Click the X button next to the project name you want to delete, and the project will be removed from the list. If you want to use the GOLA profile in the project, select the checkbox. You can immediately see the changes in the scene. Click the Save a Copy button if you want to save different options. The Screenshot button will take a picture without unnecessary buttons and save the screenshot to the gallery. The new project button will delete the open project and reset the scene settings. On the editor panel there are editor buttons. In the corner type kitchen there are two of them. With the left button we set objects on the left wall. With the right one on the right wall. Objects on the scene are placed one after the other. This button removes the last placed object. Next is the button for overlaying textures and colors. The next button controls the visibility of the dimensions on the scene. The last button is the specifications button. The button displays a list of colors, textures, and approximate quantities of materials. Let me remind you. Left button for the left wall. Let's set the floor dimensions. Enter the value of the width of the kitchen. Also enter the value of the length. Enter the value of the height. On the left in scroll view we see object types, such as bottom modules, top modules, windows and doors. Let's consider an example of installing windows on a stage. Click on the desired window and it will appear on the stage. You need to edit its size and position. Consider the option of installing the door on this same wall. Let's try to do the same on another wall. Now let's remove the windows and doors. They are not needed in our educational project. Let's start with the bottom modules. We'll install the corner module if we need it.
or without it? Yes, we need this module. Next, let's install this module and edit its size. This is too much, let's do less. For example, we will install an empty box if we need a gap between modules. Let's delete it. Let's choose something more interesting from the list of modules. A module with a kitchen sink. Module with two drawers. At the end, let's add something tall. A corner glass module will suit us. Sorry, not this one. I need the left one. At the bottom left we see that the display case is hanging from the floor. Edit the size. Now let's install the modules on the right wall. We see that the corner module button is not active, since the module is already installed. Let's install some modules with drawers. Now we need a gas stove. This one will do. And now another module with drawers. Let's find a corner glass module and install it. Install the top corner element. After installation, the button became inactive. We have one corner, so only one corner module can be installed. Let's add a few more top modules. And set the dimensions we need. Let's choose a hood for our gas stove. Let it be this one. Edit the size according to the width of the gas stove. One more module is required.
Install the top modules on the left wall. We see a small gap. Let's change the size of the module. We're done with the modules. Now let's apply the textures. The buttons on the left indicate in red which part of the modules we will process. Let's start with module cases. We choose the desired RAL color or texture. Now let's set the color for the lower facades. To change the direction of the texture, click the button again. And now the color on the top facades. Now let's assign a texture to the tabletop. You also need to choose a texture for the kitchen baseboard. Next, you can set the color or texture of the kitchen apron, windows, doors, floor, walls. This is how the size visibility control button works. Clicking on the specifications button will display a list of our selected colors and textures as well as the approximate amount of materials. Let's go to the project control panel and save a copy of the project. By selecting the checkbox, we can see what the design of our kitchen will look like with the GOLA profile. Let's save a copy of our kitchen in the version with the GOLA profile. And now let's try to open projects. When you exit the app, the project will be saved to a temporary file and open the next time you open the app. Thank you for using Kitchen Editor 3D. We wish you good ideas.